Hello, everyone. Welcome to our latest episode of the Pep Talk. Today is March 22nd, 2023. This is Rebecca. I am coming to you live from Toronto. I am mom of three amazing boys. I work as an x-ray technologist and a mentor in online business. Together with my partner, Mary Botok, we would like to say thank you to all our viewers and supporters of the Pep Talk. This is simultaneously live on my page and May's page. And you know what? Last episode, we have over a thousand views and couple of shares because, you know, um, people are very inspired with our guests. That's why they keep on sharing our videos. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And tonight we are so blessed to have another guest who is so fired up to share his success story. So stay with us until the end. We are here to share the stories of success, faith, and resilience of individuals who have successfully transitioned to the world of the digital business. Watch, listen, and be inspired from the testimonials of the business owners on how they conquered the online space by helping people to start a business that changed their lives. This is Rebecca and May, working moms and digital entrepreneurs. We are here to share with you the boons of the digital business. So, come join us. Hello everyone, this is May coming to you live from Winnipeg, Canada. Welcome to another episode of the Pep Talk. We're thrilled to have you with us tonight and we've got an amazing guest tonight with a truly inspiring story to share. So sit back, relax and join us for the next 30 to 45 minutes as we dive into the world of digital entrepreneurship. Thank you. Thank you, partner. You know, I am so excited since we um, we, we invited our guest. I, I am really looking forward to this day. So um, again, hello, everyone. Um, if you are watching us live, thank you, thank you, thank you. We would love to connect with you. So drop in where you are coming from so that we can uh, connect with you. You know, on our previous episode, we are very global, right? So again, drop your comment down below where you are coming from so that we can connect later. And you know what? I'm so excited to introduce to you our um, special guest tonight. Um, for tonight's guest, he is our respectable coach in the business. He is based in Calgary. Um, Alberta, he is loving husband and a supportive dad. He supports missionaries. Take note of that. He supports missionaries. He's not only running, like working anywhere, right? He used to be a part-time in the business, a full-time software engineer, and now full-time, a uh, full-time um, business owner because he retired to his career and refired as business coach helping thousands of people to become successful in this business. So let us all welcome Coach Dexter Obiso. Hello, hello. It's great to be here, guys. Thank Thanks you. for having me. Welcome. Thank you, Coach. For, thank you for joining us. Thank you for sharing your time with us. Yes, yes absolutely. No, it's, it's, uh, it's an honor to be here. What a wonderful show you guys have here. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. All right. Um, before we move to our next part, Coach, uh, you know, we prepared for this. But let us, Sisme, would you like to acknowledge our viewers? We are very global here now. Yes, before we start, um, let's acknowledge Carlota Santana from Southern California. Hello, Maritas. Hello, Sis Rebecca and Sis May. She's from Illinois. We also have Layla from California as well. And Marita says, hello, Coach Dexter. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Coach Dexter, before we dive into questions, um, I would we would love to show some pictures. This is like getting to know you more. We will show a picture and then share the feeling or anything about the picture that we are about to share. So yeah, we would love to get to know you more. So our first picture will be this one. Can you tell? Because I, I've seen a lot of <laughs> engagement on this picture. So what is this? Like, what's this behind you? 
Yeah, this is uh, the oil sands in uh, Alberta, where uh, the mining sands, and this is from my previous job. And this is actually one of the uh, dump truck. This is how big the dump truck is that carries mm -hmm. oil sands. Yeah, wow. that grabs oil from the ground and, you know, carries all of that sand. So this is just one of the tires to get up to. I got up to drive the uh, one of the trucks and you have you need a ladder to get up there. Eh? It's that tall. It's, <laughs> it's 12 feet yeah. just for the tires. Wow. Yeah, so. wow. <laughs> yeah, it's my first time to see this coach. This, like, that's why when I saw you, you posted this, I said, oh, wow, the, this is existing. All right. Yes, yes, so yeah. Thank you, Coach. How about this one? I've got this from your cover photo on your page. So yeah. you haven't changed it for, for years, right, Coach? Yeah, uh, this is actually our picture when we went to uh, Mexico. It's a reunion with our family. Uh, this We all got a blue shirt with, it says, Obiso family, and it's, it's a family mm -hmm. tree. So, Coach, everybody has it, our family. So we all met up there. You know, this was before the pandemic. Uh, I think it was 2016, and yeah, it was a, it was a great time, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and um, I, I know, like, everybody are looking forward to more vacations, right? And Absolutely. this one, Coach. Oh, yeah, uh, this is uh, one of our uh, mentors, uh, Brother Bo Sanchez from the Philippines. Uh, in fact, I have one of his book books at the back here and he preaches about millionaire missionary you know the purpose of money is to love others the purpose of money is to share god's blessings right be blessed so that you can be a blessing for others so this is brother Bo. he came here to calgary and uh yeah we had a convention with him and it was a big event and uh yeah i was very lucky to you know be very close to brother Bo. so yeah it's amazing you, he's an amazing yeah. guy yeah um, I will, I will also add about Brother Bo. I met him to one of the feasts in, in um, Quezon City, Manila. It was my brother who introduced me to him. So when I saw you posted this one, and then I said, oh, oh my God, we have like we have in common. So I'm surprised that he is one of your... I will not be surprised that he is one of your mentors because as we've known you, you are um, really... Um, working through the like you are following his his um his teachings right so thank you thank you coach and we have more here this ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, last year uh 2022 around the same time february this was around the time when i started thinking about can i quit my job can i be boss free and so what I did was I tried it for uh, um, one month. I, I kind of took a one month off from work. And then I just tried it out and see what, what would happen, right? And I think I wasn't ready yet at that time. So I didn't pull the trigger. I went back to work after one month just so I can touch my dream, right? They say, touch your dream so it becomes a reality. And then a year later, sure enough, here we are <laughs> living yeah, that dream. Yes. So I think we should do that too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's do it, sis. Yeah, let's do it. How about this one? A year after. This is a year after, yeah. And it was very, very interesting that I didn't even think about it, that it, that I posted that. And someone pointed it out to me. Hey, did you remember doing this? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I did that. Yeah, so this is my actual go live when it was my last day of, of my job, last day of work. And uh, I went home. It was right like right after lunch and i was like okay i'm home now i'm boss free um wow this is amazing this is an amazing feeling i need to do a go live and share this to everybody and let them know you know this is such an amazing feeling to just have that time freedom so yeah i i, I ran a go live and, and just go <laughs> went with it right so yeah thank you thank you yeah like while i am watching you like i'm in tears because I recall the picture that I uh, showed earlier. I said, this is it. Like, Coach Dex needs more time. That's why, yes, congratulations, <laughs> congratulations. And um, thank you, thank we you. have a lot, uh, our last picture will be, you know, um, this one. Ah, yes. So I now that I'm boss free, I yeah. <laughs> we have so much time to spend together as a family. My sister, Dina, there, she just took a day off. But my brother, Daniel Roxanne, they're boss-free. I'm boss-free. So I visit them regularly now. I, we hang out with uh, my nephew, uh, Caleb. And this is just re uh, yesterday, 
we took oh. this picture yesterday and and uh, yeah we just we just love hanging out together and uh, spending time together and uh, playing with my nephew yeah it's amazing yeah yeah, thank wow, you. Wow. Thank you. That's it, Coach. Yeah, because you know what? Um, <laughs> I, I, uh, I read from your text that you dreamed before of having a business, a family business, right? So now mm -hmm. you are living the dream. You are running yes, the business yeah. together with your family. All right. Thank yeah, you, Coach. I, that. <laughs> thank you. So yes. before we dive in, um, let's just acknowledge more of our viewers. Coach Noche, hello from Australia. Coach Daphne from Texas, hello, hello. Yeah, from Australia. And yeah, thank you. Sis May. Okay, yes. So now let's go to the question and answer portion. Coach Nexter, it's really great to have you on the show tonight. Having you here, you know, it's just one of our wishful thinking last year. <laughs> so we have one list ticked off of our bucket list. So you know who's going to be here next. We already have two obesos. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> to start off, um, can you tell us something about yourself that most people don't know and how you got started in, the, in this business? Yeah, so... Um... Most people probably don't know that um, uh, some 20 years ago, I was a, I also quit my job to start a uh, business. And that was in the insurance industry. That was in the insurance business. Mm -hmm. And it was with my family as well, with Dave and uh, Roxanne and uh, Dina. Dave and Roxanne weren't married yet. They were just girlfriend and boyfriend. So I actually quit my job for, um, for a year during that time, but it didn't work out. And the reason was because we ran out of leads. We ran out of prospects. Uh, we couldn't really figure out how to generate more leads. And so I, I went back to work and then, you know, 20 years later, here we are, right? So I still, the dream was still alive, right? The dream was still alive. And uh, yeah, 20, I, 20 years later, um, when I looked at this business, the online business, I realized that my problem 20 years ago is resolved today because of the lead generation system, because of technology, because of machine learning. All of that is now resolved. So that's why I wanted, I, I love to jump in again. I jumped in the business, even though, you know, I failed before, right? And then the dream kept on, you know, kept on staying in my heart. And so finally I decided to jump in. So that must just be a preview given to you by God. Like, hey, um, Dexter, in 20 years, you're going to be doing this. So I'm just giving you a preview now. Fail now, right? <laughs> yes. As yes, they said, exactly, fail. Yeah. Yes, yeah, and then um, as well as um, what do you call this? Yeah, the the the, real, the difference. I can see the difference from your um, differ uh, from your previous business and to our business now. It's really the the system that we are using. It's amazing, right? We really don't need. We don't run out of leads, right? And coach, um, can you share some instances that shows? how your life has changed now compared to what it was before without the business yeah so um i guess uh before without the business um it was always like you're always scared to get laid off from your job right you're yeah. always like looking for job security so that was kind of very tense especially during the pandemic times i was really scared because you know our company was laying off left and right and I prayed really hard, you know, that uh, I'm not going to get laid off, I'm not going to get laid off. And then one day I got a notice that I'm going to get laid off, right? And, and everyone in my team was laid off. And then just by some miracle, God always shows up at the last minute. Uh, you know, the last day where I was about to get laid off, they told me that, hey, we've decided to keep you. We're not gonna, we're not gonna let you go. But you know, the the stress of two months, you know, three months of just getting really, really scared because pandemic times, there's no jobs and stuff. So that was also the time when I started to think about, man, I need to do this online business. I gotta have a plan B for my family. I gotta do something different where I own my own time, I own my own income, right? Where I have a say, I have, I become my own boss. And so that's how really. Um, you know, I got really serious about the online business. I was like, I got to get this work because I can't, I can't rely on job security anymore. Yes. Yeah. Yes. For the me, um, I, right. I have friends as well who are, um, what they call, who are laid off from the oil company. So yeah, I know there's stress, there's struggles. 
And yeah, good thing for you, coach. You were not laid off, but still, there's a purpose, right? There's there's always a purpose. There's always a reason for for everything. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. There's always a reason. Like even uh, even what you think is failure is really just uh, strengthening you, right? Building your character to become who you are today, so that you're ready for the blessing that's coming to you. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. That's right. Okay, before I ask my next question, let's say hello to Stephanie at the National. She's watching from Calgary. We also have Lisa watching from Toronto. And Coach Notch says, I can totally relate. Having a job in the corporate world is really a blessing. However, there's no security in employment. Yes, that's right. That's right. So, yes, Coach, next. Um, you have had a successful career in the industry for over 20 years. But recently, you made the decisions to leave and pursue your own business. And while many people view IT as a financially rewarding and fulfilling career, what inspired you to take the leap and leave it all behind? Yeah, so um, I'm one of those people that actually enjoyed my job. And um, I, I love my job, IT, for 20 plus years. And I n never really imagined that I would, you know, you know, I would leave that career, right? because um, I was in a very good environment. My team is very, very good, um, friendly people. They're personal friends of mine. I consider them as my friends. Uh, we still meet from time to time, right? And so uh, the only reason really that I left was, was really this, right? Uh, I believe that a job, a business, you know, those are just vehicles to your dream, right? You say that you need to fall in love with the dream, not the vehicle, right? My dream is really to be 100% full-time for my family, you know, for my wife, to, be, to do full-time ministry. That's the dream, right? That's the dream, to do something that we're really passionate about, right? Uh, the, the job is really just a vehicle. So even though I thought I fell in love with my, with my career, I realized that I actually love my dream more than my, my job. And so that's when I decided, like, enough is enough. It's time to, to take the leap and uh, do this business, right? So, yeah. Yes. You're right. Even my husband is also in IT and he actually has two jobs right now. And uh, much as I want him to stop, he said, I love my job. I love my career. I love what I'm doing now. So, well, we don't know what will happen. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. For me, yeah, um, I, I am also proud being X-ray technologist helping more people, you know, in healthcare worker, it's a lot of stress, but I am enjoying what I am, what I am doing. But as coach Dave, um, be like in love with your dream. So working on it, hopefully, or not, not hopefully, I'm claiming I will be like you soon, coach Dex. So, mm -hmm. um, coach, amen, yeah. Yeah, amen. What do you wish everybody would understand about your career as a digital entrepreneur? Because, you know, um, a lot of watching us, a lot of people are snooping on us. They are curious, but um, they are afraid or they are shy to ask what we are doing. So um, please share a little bit more um, what, like, your, uh, what about your career as digital entrepreneur. Yeah, so... Um... Uh, I'm an online business coach, just like uh, uh, Rebecca and May. And what we do is help people start their own business online, right? So get you from zero to hero within weeks, right? Get you from, you know, no business to having a fully running business within, you know, a few weeks, right? So that's what we do. Uh, we teach all about uh, advertising and marketing, using social media to attract uh, customers and prospects. Uh, there's products that are available that's involved. Uh, there's training and mentoring and uh, yeah, all of those things that you've always been wondering about, you know, how are people making money online? This is how, right? It's through social media, it's through attraction marketing, it's using the platforms that are already there to generate leads and buyers and customers, right? And so having like a, a system in place uh, really helps out, right? So the nicest part about this is you won't be by yourself, right? You'll have a mentor, you'll have a coach. And so they say that success leaves footprints, right? So the sh uh, my, my mentor, Brother Bo, used to say that uh, the shortcut to success is having a mentor. The shortcut mm -hmm. to success is having a mentor, right? Because a mentor that's already done it, that's already successful, then definitely you'll follow those footprints and you're going to get to the same place that where they're at right now, right? So 
So, yeah, so my, the only thing I could say is, you know, give it a try, you know, don't be afraid, try it out. Um, the team is here. It's a very supportive environment. Uh, what I really love about it is meeting so many people all over the world. That's really fantastic. Having friends all over the world, that's really great. So, yeah, and I couldn't believe that I would have a business that is global like this. You know, so I never imagined, like, meeting so many people, like Africa, Philippines, like, you know, Europe, uh, different parts of the world that I didn't even think existed. So <laughs> yeah. now I have people there. I have friends there, right? So True. Yeah, so, yeah, very, very powerful that you have a mentor. So now I would like to acknowledge our mentor and also our direct coach. We have here Coach Katrina. And he says, lots of books there, Coach Dex. Hello, hello. And fall in love with the dream. I love that. Yes, Coach. Thank you, Coach Katrina, for being our mentor. You know, you're working closely with us. We appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, Sis May? Yes, my last question. I, uh, I wish we could have this longer, but we still have another Zoom after this. Anyway, yes. Coach Dexter. As a business coach, you've built a great team already and established a strong following of mentees and also coaches. We know how challenging it can be to keep a team motiva motivated and on track. Um, so could, could you please share some insights on how you manage your team you know, and keep them inspired? Yes, um, I believe in leading from the front. If you want the team to follow, then you need to show them as, as, as an example, right? Leadership is about being the example, right? Being the, the person to inspire, right? So uh, there's a saying that says that um, they can't hear what you're, you're saying. They only see what you're doing. So they need to see what you're doing before they're going to hear what you're saying, right? So, so for me, really, to inspire your team is about, uh, you know, doing it first, right? Showing them the ropes, showing them how it's done. Right. And then the second part is really caring for them. Right. Like these are this is a this is a people business. When you're leading a team, you're a leader. You know, as a leader, you need to take care of your people. Right. Um, you need to you need to make sure that they are, uh, you know, well trained, well mentored. And uh, yeah, they, they uh, you're, you're pretty much like uh, like the, uh, the teacher. If you need to be a teacher, then you're the teacher. If you need to be a counselor, then you're the counselor. You know, a leader <laughs> is someone they can come to, right, anytime, like when they have some issues and problems and stuff, right? So that's my philosophy. Um, I, I heard this Chinese, Chinese proverb that says, right, if you want uh, five years of prosperity, grow grain. If you want 10 years of prosperity, grow trees. And if you want 100 years of prosperity, grow people. And that's what I believe in. It's really growing people. And what, what's amazing about that is it feels so fulfilling to be able to grow people, to be able to see them grow up, to become leaders, to become, you know, to become successful in their life and change their lives as well, you know. So I love that, uh, yes, I'm able to become, you know, successful boss-free, but what I love more is seeing other people also become successful. And that's what motivates me to keep going and to keep fighting every day for, for that, right? Amazing. Wow. <laughs> That's all I can say. Wow. Yeah. Lots to take on. Yeah. So care for your people, right? As coach uh, Dave and Roxanne before, they said love more people, love more. So, um, and uh, be, be the example so that they will follow you, right? Even though you keep on talking, you keep on presenting, we're dropping some tips on how they can grow their business, but you don't do it by. We cannot follow you, right? So, yeah, Coach, um, please. We, you know, we are really looking up to you because you really care for 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 us as uh, your ment uh, as your mentees, right? So, thank you, thank you for being the great example to us, so that we can follow your foot footsteps and to become successful like you. And yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Coach Dexter. Do you yeah, have. Thank you. Thanks um, for having me. Yeah. You're welcome, Coach. Um, to wrap this up, Coach, do you have any message to our business owners who are struggling? And for those who are um, watching us, snooping on us, who are not yet business owners, um, any message for them, Coach? 
Sure, yeah. Um, I guess my, my message to the business owners, right? Um, you know, I know most of you have a very strong why, and some of you maybe, you know, maybe you are struggling in the business or you're, you're, you know, you've been in the business for a while and you're still trying to figure it out. You're still trying to figure out how you're going to, you know, become a job quitter. My advice to you is really, you know, there's only three reasons I find, uh, you know, when you're not successful. One is perhaps you're lacking belief. Maybe your belief is not there yet, right? Um, a second thing is perhaps you're missing a skill, right? You're missing some skill that you need to, um, like, you need to grow, right? You need to build up that skill, right? Because really, um, your contribution is based on how much skills that you've, you've developed, right? So it could be an advertising skill, or it could be, you know, prospecting skill, a follow-up skill. That's something that is developed over time, right? So perhaps you're missing that. And the last part, really, the third reason could be that you're lacking action. You know, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You already know. You have the knowledge, you have the skill, but you're not doing it. So my advice to you is look, examine yourself, right? Look at yourself and look at yourself in the mirror, right? How badly do you want it, right? How badly do you want to fight for your dream, for your kids, for your children's children to change their legacy and their future forever, right? This is a life-changing business. This can change your legacy, the next generation, right? This is what this business is all about. All right. Um, to the people that are curious about starting the online business and perhaps you've been seeing all these advertisements from people and you're wondering, you know, can I do it? You know, is it a scam or, or whatever? My advice to you is really, um, you know, if what you're doing right now isn't working, then you need to change, right? You know, you don't want to wait 20 years from now, you know, hit age of retirement and realize that I wish I could have done something, right? Uh, you know, it's never too late. We believe that age is not a factor. You don't need to be tech savvy in this business. You just have to have that coachability, right? You just be able to follow a system that we teach. And as long as you, you stick with us, you work with us, you're going to become successful. That's what I believe in, right? So I invite you, you know, to, to join up. I invite you to attend the webinar that we have. Listen in. It's free to attend. Sign up. Uh, you know, and, and get more information. Talk to Rebecca, talk to May, get in touch with us, and we will be happy to, you know, get on a call with you, explain this business further, and, you know, just share some information with you. Because if it changed my life, it can definitely change your lives as well. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you so much, much so. May, for our another successful episode. I know this will be shared all over the world again. Thank you, Sis May. Yes, um, sad to say that brings up that's that brings us to the end of the today's episode. Again, never ending. Thank you, Coach Dexter, for joining us and sharing your stories and expertise. We hope our viewers gain valuable insights in this world of online business. Remember, building a successful business takes hard work and dedication, but with the right strategies, like what Coach Dexter said, and mindset, anything is possible, right? So stay motivated, stay focused, and we'll see you again on the next Tech Talk. Thank you. Thank Good night. you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.